here with Shanae Williams, who happens to be the Teacher of the Year. Uh, she's at Howard Middle School, but you're also assigned to several other schools, aren't you? Yes, I am. And which schools are those? OCAP Head Start. Okay, so you do OCAP Head Start, and you do here. That's correct. And your area of concentration is speech pathology. So how were they able to make the speech teacher the Teacher of the Year? How does that happen? I think it was just dedication. I think it was going over and beyond, um, filling in, following direct directives, um, basically just being dedicated. And being creative as well, I would imagine. Being creative, yes. Uh, I understand that James L. Jones, the actor, he once stuttered. And now, of course, he's one of the greatest voices and one of the greatest actors of our time. And I guess it was through determination, skill, and that kind of thing. That's correct. And someone like you. That's, that's correct. And speech pathology has such a, a broad range of disciplines. Um, it doesn't only, it's not only limited to articulation and language disorders of which we provide in the schools, but then there are also um, motor speech disorders. There's also those that um, have had strokes or has, have had some type of trauma due to car accident, exactly. So you, I always say you serve um, clients from the time that they get here mm -hmm. until unfortunately the time. From the cradle to the grave. That's yeah. right. So you always have diversity as far as settings. And but also that means that you have to have a lot of compassion. You have to have a lot of compassion. And I can see the compassion in you. God bless you. We thank you so much. Ms. Brown, yes, sir. back here at Howard Middle right. School, yes, man. Back. What's Welcome happening? Back. Tell us about, we, we've already been through the school. Uh, we had a little walking tour. Your assistant principal and some others took us around, and uh, we saw some of the highlights. Um, tell us what's significant about this year. Tell us where you, got, where you guys came from, where you guys are going, that kind of thing, under your leadership. Yes, sir. Well, last year uh, was my first year, and it, what it was was a foundational year. Uh, we kind of looked at some of the strengths and weaknesses that we had on last year. And we went through the summer and we came through and we monitored and adjusted. And now we came back with a new attitude, uh, a new approach on teaching and learning. And one of the, one of the biggest things that we said that we're going to do this year is focus on personalized instruction and cooperative learning as it relates to student, student achievement. When you say personalized instruction, what do you mean when you say that? Well, everyone knows that, that each child learns at a different rate and they develop differently. Um, what has happened in the past is we've been trying to teach all kids the same way. Mm -hmm. However, we find it's not the most effective method. We have to go through when we look at assessments, we look at data, we look at instruction, and we find the strengths and weaknesses of, of each individual child. And we tailor our lessons and our lesson plans to meet the individual needs of those students. Now, does that require more staff, more personnel, more budget? What does that do? I mean, how, do you, how are you able to accomplish that? Excellent question. It requires a little of all of that, but more importantly, it, it requires us to work smarter, not harder. Um, we still have the same amount of kids. We still have the same standards. We still have the same curriculum. But as opposed to trying to do so much, we, we call ourselves, uh, we, we chunk uh, individuals individual lessons and we uh, put kids in smaller groups, we put them in smaller class sizes and we cater to the needs of the kids. All right. Well that sounds good, sounds like some innovation. Is that something you've pulled from other school districts? Is that something that you've gotten through some training that you've gotten? Is that where it comes from? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we could not have done any of this without professional development, without workshops, without getting the appropriate training and I would like to stress that using the appropriate technology as well. So uh, having gotten some training, having gone out and attended some uh, workshops, having visited other schools, we found some things that we can use to cater to the needs of our students. Yeah, hi, this is Harvey Elwood for New Perspectives, and I just happen to be here uh, at Howard Middle School, and I'm with Josh Richburg, and I'm with Mr. Mark Trimmer, who is a, they have a mentor-mentee relationship, and uh, I'm going to step out of the shot of the camera and let them explain exactly what their relationship is all about and what they've accomplished thus far. Two words, listen carefully. Mark Tremere. Joshua Richburg. Second grade. You King. Community character. Mellichamp character. Ready, willing. Needed help. After school. Did homework. Other things. We did. Had fun. Play connect. Went out. Cook out. Metal detected. Found money. Rotary club. I taught. Visited bank. Made friends. Airport. Went flying. Flew plane. Tried landing. <laughs> studied hard. Got good. Sometimes. Misbehaved. Okay. Learned fast. King oratory. What? Took home. Big trophy. Last year, drove car, didn't wreck, almost, took chance, made difference, little time, best time, 
I'm here. For me. My mentee. My mentor. Us two. God bless. That's a wonderful experience and I want to thank you and, and uh, people such as yourself are to be rewarded. We need a lot more people who um, have the understanding and the need or uh, the knowledge of the importance of mentors uh, and what you're doing. We hope that other people will recognize the value of it and that they too will find a way to get involved. Um, from the church experience, I know yours comes from that, uh, as does many people. And we would hope that there are a lot more church people that are out there who would recognize the value of this, and they would get involved and do it. Josh, tell us a little bit more about your experience with um, Mr. Mark here. Well, um, first grade, I was kind of bad, but then in second grade, I was a little bad, but not too bad. But then when Mr. Mark came in, I kind of changed up, and I started getting better at my behavior. I started doing my work and getting good grades and I made my parents proud and my mentor proud and my school proud and that's what led this led up to this. Right. And a lot more to come. We yes, expect sir. a lot more to come uh, from you because of this experience. Mark, tell us about your feelings regarding this whole experience if you would. I went into this as an obligation, uh, as basically a civic duty. Um, not realizing the impact that it would have on my personal life. Um, you know, when I met Josh, I saw a troubled young youth, and, and I felt like, well, maybe my hour and a half or hour a week could make a difference, uh, not knowing the impact that it would have on me. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like, like my grandmother said when I was growing up, you take time for the things you want to do. Well, at first I didn't want to do this, but then as I got to to know Josh and saw his need and the impact that he had on me, it went from being an obligation to something I looked forward to. And I encourage everybody, if you have the opportunity, it's not just going to make an impact on his life, but it will make an impact on your life. We want to thank you so much for the privilege of talking with you both. Glad to be here. Both you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with Michelle Newton here at uh, Howard Middle School. Uh, Sheila, what, what's your um, status here? What do you do here? I am a guidance counselor for the sixth and seventh graders. Okay. How's it going? I love it. I love our kids. Um, I'm here. We had a, a, a technology board or some kind. Five ways to use technology in career exploration. Tell us about this board. Well, um, every month we display um, a board um, with a specific specific theme and this month is technology in careers. Um, Dr. Ronald Watson. Watson. Okay. I'm, I'm here, still here at Howard Middle School with Dr. Ronald Watson. He's going to tell us about this fantastic class of young people that he's working with. Um, tell us who these young people are, Doc. Uh, they're sixth graders, uh, beginning band class and we wanted a drum line and uh, the principal you know, purchased the drums for us and we said well, look See, they're very enthusiastic about playing those drums. How long have you been uh, doing music or teaching music? Uh, this is my 15th year. Okay. okay. And you've been here, Howard, most of the time? Uh, this is my first year at Howard. First year. Where were you previous to this? I was in Virginia. Okay. Well, we're glad that you're here. We welcome you to Orangeburg and Salt Lake School District 5. Mm -hmm.